Low power. I got this camp chef pellet. Um, one of the features that sold me on this one when I was looking at them is it has a removable ash cup. So you can get the ash from the last cookout. And you can dump it in the garden. Nope. That's a nice feature because I have the Traeger which does not have the ash cup. They recommend you use a dry vac to vacuum out the ash cup yeah, yeah. i mean that's what i have to do and it's a pain it's a pain a little bit inside but you know, yeah you cook the cook you know you can just use this mm -hmm. blinders up yet when they're starting it not when i'm starting it i've seen videos of people they have their lid closed something happens in there where there's just so much dust and smoke yeah. during the ignition that the whole thing ends up going boom Huh. So it's in its startup sequence now. It's got a countdown timer. Pull it up in the app. So I can't do anything in life without having an app attached to it. Yep. You're a techie. Works on Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Look my bed man's grill. 64 degrees right now. Alright. It's only got two probes. The newer ones, the Woodwind has the four, but I'm not sure why you need that many probes. Like, you know, it's nice information to have, but eventually it's, you don't really need probes at all. You just use your thermopen. Right. Tap it and close yeah. it and you're done. I mean, I could think up uses for them, but I don't think that's a need to have for them. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a little bit of training wheels. Kind of, yeah. You get an idea of how, how it works. How to, temperatures fluctuate and things. Eventually you just learn to fit like any other fit. And you just start using it. Like the fit barrel. I use probes in that for a while. I have to learn to understand the barrel temperature versus the food temperature. But eventually like I didn't need that information to, to successfully use it. You get a feel for it. Yeah. And that's barbecuing. Rolling. One of the drawbacks of pellet grills is the ability to cook over direct heat, get some searing action on your food. The camp chef came up with this feature, the knob over here, it says grill on the knob. You just pull it out, and that exposes the firebox where the pellets are burning down there. You get a little more direct heat, close it off, and come back to smoker mode. So what are we cooking here? We need some ribeyes. Leggings. I'm going to cook these up. Put a little smoke on. Put them up. Cheese sticks. Everybody's not the cheapest steak, but it does make a really good cheese steak. I'm not going to go real crazy with the seasoning today. Just do some uh, body of complete. It's a good everyday seasoning. It works on pretty much anything. It's complete. Uh, it does have MSG, so you know it's an appropriate season. You don't actually rub your rub. Yeah? No That's rub. right. You don't rub your rub on your meat? Not steaks. Like a, a pork butt or a brisket or something like that. I'll definitely rub that in. Like this, it'll be just fine. Put them on the lower deck, expensive seats. Shut it down, let it do its thing. See how smoky it wants to get today. We got some cherry pellets in there. Not necessarily what you want on beef, but I don't feel like emptying it out. It'll be just fine. All right, well, we've been in here for what? Half an hour or so, it's on 200 degrees on the high smoke setting. So the way that the smoke setting works in the camp chef, it just kind of cycles in between a heating mode, which is 
you know, efficient combustion and you get fire and no smoke in a, a smoke mode, which is inefficient combustion and you get more smoke. So it kind of cycles back and forth in between those modes up, up to 350 degrees. We're looking here now, we got our, got our rib eyes in there. They're starting to look like they're getting some smoke on them. They're starting to get that. Oh, and speaking of smoke, Yeah. We'll see what beef tastes like with cherry on it. You know what? I bet it tastes good because that's how you barbecue. Now slice up a little onion. I like to cut it in half first. It makes it a little easier on the, on the fight. Steaks, you want not super thin, but you don't want real thick and chunky either. Make it a cheese steak, not salsa. Here oh. I am. So I got my tongs. Before I use them, I flip them like everyone does. Nobody knows why. I think it goes back to our, our prehistoric roots when they had metal tongs like this. You have to flip them twice. Pretty good. Nice little pink color on them. They're still definitely not cooked. I think they took on some smoke character here. Yeah, the fat starting to render. Some steam there. We'll slice these up, throw them on the griddle. Some peppers and onions. Put them on a Amorosa roll. Some filling. Some cheese whiz. Provolone. Make it off. And then we'll eat with a giant beard. I'm gonna enjoy that. Cause that's how you barbecue. All right. Got some nice ribeye here, some smoke on it. The grains that way, all right. Slicing. Still not slicing cool. against the grain there. I believe so. That's what they're telling me. Actually, that, oh man, this smells fantastic. Look at that. It's running this slow. Jeez, I, I might just eat this. This looks like it's actually pretty much cooked through. My sharp knife goes through like butter. Some people put butter on their steaks. What the hell is wrong with you? What kind of steak do you buy you need to put butter on? Hey, my wife went to down to the Piggly Wiggly and all they had was cow legs. Got some cow legs and we made steaks out of them. So we put butter on it so we could eat it. Chicken legs, though. I, I eat chicken legs all day. That's, actually, cow legs are pretty good. <laughs> Probably a bad, bad analogy. Undesirable meat there. Cut that. Use that for chewing gum later. This will cook up real nice on the griddle. Yesterday, I didn't know what I was going to cook today. And then I had a vision overnight. The meat vision. That's how MTV should get started again. It won't be music, it'll be meat. A good YouTube channel, MTV. Meat television? See how long till Viacom tells us to cease and desist. That's not music. Like you don't even play music. Uh, yeah, 
pretty good. That's a nice, nice pile of ribeye. Alright, this one's a little bit more. A little bit more fat on this one. Let that means start. flavor. Nice and marbled, as they call it. Let's go against the green. Oh man, I can just live in here. Looks like my wife. A lot of work. It's not easy being greasy. Like a little crunch left in yours, or you like them all mushy? A little Up there. It smells fantastic. <laughs> you lose your hinge. Huh? You lose your hinge. Oh, we got it. We got it. All right. Those are important. Gotta Get have, have your hinge. Somebody posted she's still in there. Really? You're not supposed to post cheese Only hoses. Yeah, there's not many smells better than peppers, onions, and meat. <laughs> exactly. That's the Yankee candle they haven't made yet. You might have to get on that. You know how to use wax? <laughs> <laughs> not for candle making. Yeah, that'll be nice. People always go, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you make your own toilet paper? That'll be nice. Why don't you make your own scented candle? Slow paddle candles coming Don't give soon. Me any ideas. <laughs> I don't need a scent of candle. My life already smells like the stuff I want to be near. I need a candle in my house. Tell me I want a Philly cheesesteak. I do like this griddle though. This is real nice. It's sticking a little bit at first. Unless it got a little seasoning, a little oil on it. Okay. I like that it gives you the option of the pellet with the smoke and the gas. Yeah, it's kind of nice having both. It's still got that smoky flavor on it. Yeah. See how much we can stuff into one of these? Might have that. Oh, and oh yeah. Diversity. We're all about diversity. Yeah, you gotta have all the various cheese products and actual cheese. Going hard on this whiz. 
Hard on the wind. That's not easy to do. Yeah? You know, hard on wind. <laughs> you really gotta pay attention. Got a nice pro one on top. Finish them off in the pellet oven. Oh, it's hard to get it. Oh, yeah, it's hard to get it. Ooh, the rest of it. Yeah. Okay. Going in. There it is. Melody cheese. All right. Look at that. Steak. You eat that. Look how juicy and <sighs> the whiz is running down through. The crusty bread. It's good stuff. Eat. Good stuff. Let's see what we made here. So we had the steaks, ribeyes. We set them on the smoke. Cherry smoke. About an hour or so, maybe a little longer. Sliced them up, threw them on the griddle. Onions and peppers. Cheese whiz, shredded provolone. We toasted it off. We made this. Let's see. You know when food just makes you happy. This tastes happy. Mm. That's all your barbecue. 